Church. Welcome in to Cross Smart Ministry. I'm Laurie McFarland. Thanks for popping in to our channel here today. If you're a regular viewer or if you're brand new, just wanted to remind you that every Friday we bring a teaching video to you here at Cross My Heart. We exist to encourage women to love God and to love his word. But on Mondays, once in a while, we do something a little fun. I'll come in and present something that I call Martha Monday. And on Martha Mondays, we bring a recipe or a cleaning idea, a household tip. And about once a quarter, I pop into Dollar Tree and share my haul with you. So that's what I'm doing today. I shopped and as I'm recording this, it's the end of May. So I picked up some patriotic decor. You're not seeing this until the second week of June but it all still works. The really great thing about investing in some patriotic red, white, and blue USA decor is, of course, that it works for several weeks. If you haul it all down from your attic and decorate the last week or so of May, it's up for Memorial Day, and you can leave all your red, white, and blue swag up through the first week of July for Independence Day. So I really enjoy decorating the house for the 4th of July. Let me just get right to it, sharing a, a few of the things that I found today that I'm pleased with that are all centered around that patriotic theme. And then I'll get to some other sort of standby favorites and some summer things that I think you might enjoy as well. Well, first off, let me introduce my patriotic gnome. I thought he was a great buy for $5. And less noted otherwise, all of my things here are $1.25 because it is Dollar Tree. But if your Dollar Tree is a Dollar Tree plus like mine, they now are offering some sort of stepped up items, some nicer decor, nicer things. And of course, they need to charge a little bit more for that. But $5 for this little gnome, I've seen similar items in a gift shop for upwards of $20. So I thought he was a, a sweet find. I just thought he was so cute to stand tall and attention. He looks a little like Uncle Sam, don't you think? So I have a spot picked out on my kitchen for him. Another $5 item is this cute little metal truck. I think he will find a home on my front porch. I've got a little metal small round table out there that I like to decorate. And I think I can weave up through the mesh table some wire, sort of florist wire, and sort of get him stabilized there so he doesn't blow away in the spring and summer winds. But he'll be cute to be featured there. Then I found some items. I'm not sure where these are going to go, actually. One is sort of a little wooden patriotic decor, so that'll lay somewhere. And then these are sort of little ornaments. They have some rope at the end, so they could loop around a candlestick or something like that. These came two to a package. They also had an option with white stars. I chose the navy. We'll see where those end up. I loved these little plastic star bowls. They came two to a package and then I purchased a package of starlight mints which I love to keep on hand. I, I usually keep a handful of these in my purse if I'm out and about or traveling or I've had a meal I'll pop one of these in my mouth but don't they look so cute with the navy blue star bowl and the red and white mints. Very patriotic. So those will be nice to sit around in places for my guests to indulge and again two to a package. I also found a package of three mini flags. Now, I had some mini flags that were in my patriotic box when I hauled it down from the attic. These are just a little bit taller, and I brought in a little arrangement to kind of show you one idea of what I may do with these. So if you've got an existing arrangement, these beautiful geraniums, I found these somewhere on clearance years ago, and I, I love geraniums. They're one of my favorite flowers, and I love pulling these artificial ones out and then I have this white pitcher that just makes it all look a little patriotic with the red and the white and so I'm just going to take a flag and sort of pop it in like that maybe one here perhaps one on the other side and um We'll see what this looks like. So anyway, you can sort of arrange it any way that you want, but isn't that kind of cute? I can't see from your angle, but just sort of popping in a flag to an existing arrangement just gives it a little bit of a flair. I can take these out at the end after the 4th of July and leave my geraniums in for the rest of the summer. But having those in there just so takes an ordinary arrangement and just gives it a little bit more 
a little patriotic flair. I'll have to look at it and mess with it a little bit. But wanted to give you that one sort of idea. If you've got ferns on your front porch or other flower pots on your front porch, just pop one of these in those out there as well. And it just spruces it up and makes it fun for the holidays. Now let me get to this side of my display. And these are items that work year round or all throughout the summer. I did pick up Father's Day cards. I'm not going to show what these look like in case any of the men are watching my video. I don't think they are, but I have four Father's Day cards. And it's amazing that these are two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Two for a dollar twenty-five, excuse me. So where else are you going to get a card for what is that, 62 and a half cents? Uh, greeting cards can be upwards of $5 at the department store. And so what a great buy. I looked at the back of these and actually found that two of them were day spring and two of them are Hallmark. So I even love that a couple of these had a Christian theme and I love that. I'm a person that really does like to study the cards and make sure that I agree with the sentiment that's in there before I sign my name and nail it. So a great place to pick up your greeting cards for any holiday or birthday, but you can get four for less than the price you would typically pay for one. So there's a tip for cards all year round. Then I always like to wear rubber gloves when I wash dishes or when I'm doing some cleaning. And these reusable gloves are such a pretty pink color and of course a great price so you can pick those up at Dollar Tree and then if you travel like I do or if you just have children that you are taking places or to a restaurant or putting them in the cart at the department store if you're on an airplane any place these Clorox wipes are so handy I love the little to-go pack they just fit nicely in your purse or backpack my backpack has a little outer zipper so they go in there and then I know exactly where to find them when I get on a plane great buy and I love the Clorox wipes then over here on this side I found some snacks packaged nine to a box this is says an 18 pack so I think it's probably uh yeah I think it's 18 is that right one pack yeah I guess there's 18 little packages and there are two cookies to a package 10 pack of animal crackers and a 10 pack of the little bear grams so these of course are knockoffs for oreos and and uh, teddy grams but what a great thing to have these around for the summer if you're taking kids to the park if you just want to keep some snacks in the basket and tell the kids they can have one when they're hungry mid-afternoon before dinner if you're traveling on vacation the great thing about these is they're corralled in a nice cardboard box that's going to keep them somewhat sturdy so they don't get crushed but i love the portion control so not only do these work for kids but they work for moms or grammys who are trying to sort of watch their portion control as well these have the cheddar cheese are 95 calories to a package that a little chocolate sandwich cookies you get two of these and 80 calories there the animal crackers are 110 calories so I just thought that was a great idea I love the way they're packaged I had to stop the clerk and ask and be sure that they really were $1.25 for the whole box so I thought that was a great deal because normally you do pay more for something that's individually packaged and uh, so I really appreciated that now the packages may be smaller but honestly two cookies is about all that a kid needs or a grandma needs so I don't mind that there aren't six here I think that gets two thumbs up and it's actually more preferable than having something that's bigger and so these are a great find you can pick up those and have them for vacation or park days or going to the pool or whatever your family does during the summer and then finally I wanted to share this plastic sort of basket with handles that I found I love this the plastic is uh, bendable it's it's a nice thick durable plastics but it also so is, isn't brittle it's not going to break and because it is plastic it's going to be easy just to squirt some dishwashing detergent in there and and rinse it out and be good to go for the next time you can dump all these snacks in here for the car to keep them corralled you can put water bottles in here take this to the pool with beach towels I just loved this basket I have admired
hired some little plastic carry baskets that I've seen in department stores or and, and gift shops that are very expensive. And they're beautiful, but personally, I'm probably not interested in paying upwards of $100 for a plastic basket to sit in the sand at the beach. But for $5, yes, please, I will gladly take that. These came in some holiday patriotic colors. I saw red and white and blue, but I thought this was a great buy. So if you are interested in finding a little tub bike like that for your car or for loading up your errands or for taking snacks along on vacation, there you go. I also like that it's also deep and tall as, all, as well as sort of square shaped. So there you have it, my trip to Dollar Tree, all this, and I spent less than $40 for some new decor and some snacks and a nice basket. So leave me a thumbs up on the video if you like what you saw today. Leave me a note below and let me know which one of these items you're going to dash off to Dollar Tree and pick up, or let us know what great find you're finding at your Dollar Tree as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what was in my shopping cart, but I also hope that you'll come back on Friday for our teaching video. During the month of June, our word is rest, and so all the verses on our Write the Word bookmark during this month highlight the word rest, and I think that June is a good month for Christian women and for moms and even Grammys to sort of take a break and a rest and to sort of push pause and sort of deflate a little bit. The, the ministry year is over. Many of us are teaching Sunday school or leading small groups or doing lots of things. And so we've just finished a lot of graduations. We've wrapped up the year. If you, if you teach in the public school system or a Christian school or you home educate your children, some of that is ending. So some of the, just the regular schedule comes to a halt. And so June is just a time to sort of breathe. And so I hope all those verses on rest might bless you. You come back here on Friday, you'll hear some teaching videos that highlight the word rest. If you go over to our blog at crossmyheartministry.com, subscribe to our Sunday soaking blog, you'll get a blog dropped into your email every Sunday morning called Sunday Soaking. And during the month of June, all of those de devotionals will feature the word rest. Well, I hope this summer does find you doing some resting, leaning in, but to the word of God, not resting from God's word, but leaning in as you rest physically, using this time to go to the pool, maybe take a couple days off, enjoy your summer with your family, or just take a break from the regular routine but I hope you'll come back on Friday and check out our devotional videos. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with us for Cross My Heart Ministry. I'm Laura McFarlane.